Hi, my name is Lainey Jones, and this is my life as a reader. Um, I remember as a child, I didn't really care for reading that much. I think I struggled as a reader, um, definitely in the area of comprehension. Um, I remember in the first grade, we did round-robin reading groups. We had the red birds and the blue jays and the yellow birds. And um, now as a teacher, I kind of wonder, where did I fall in those differentiated reading groups? More than likely not in the top group. But um, I also remember one time in the second grade, I tried to convince my dad to do my reading homework for me. I wanted him to read the passages to me out of our book, and then I would answer the questions myself because now I understand that my listening comprehension was much better than my own reading comprehension. Um, I also never encountered a really nice librarian. Go figure. Um, everyone I ever encountered or remembered being a librarian in my school or even in a public library was much more concerned with keeping things quiet and following the rules um, than actually teaching me how to use the library or helping me find a book that might actually help me learn to love reading. Um, so that's a lot of the inspiration behind why, as an educator, um, I feel like at this point in my career, I want to be a library media specialist. I work in a primary school, grades pre-K through two, and I think it's important at those ages to teach children that whether you are a struggling reader or a strong reader, there is a book out there for you, and it's safe and a happy place when you come to the library. We're going to be nice to you, and we're going to help you whatever it is that you need to find. Um, I want the library to be a place for everyone, our educators, our administrators, our parents, and our community members. Um, I do follow a few groups on social media. Um, one of those groups is a library bulletin board um, group where a lot of the um, members of the group, I don't know if you can really see that, but it's called Library Bulletin Boards and Displays. They share their seasonal bulletin boards, their displays for whatever special month that is at the time, and you're able to get some really good resources and ideas from them. I hardly ever do anything I've actually come up with on my own. I also follow a group called Librarians, Library Media Specialists, and Technology Integration. Um, people here share um, some of the new resources and things that they're using and how they're using them in their schools. I absolutely love children's books. Um, in high school, I did a lot of theater and drama and dance and chorus, and so I feel like a lot of those skills come out when I'm reading children's books. Um, as a media specialist right now, I feel like I am knee-deep in preparing for Read Across America Week coming up at the end of February. So in honor of that, my favorite Dr. Seuss book is I Can Read With My Eyes Shut. And I love all things Pete the Cat. He's super groovy. Um, my son, my youngest son, is seven. And his favorite right now is anything dog man. He even asked for a dog man stuffed animal for Christmas. Um, as far as my adult reading goes, most of what I read is nonfiction. Um, I read some spiritual nonfiction books, like for groups at church that we are studying for. Um, and I have to say, I also have read books like this and loved them. This was kind of um, when I was teaching high school before I moved into the primary school. My students were reading these books, and I was really curious as to what they were reading. And so I started reading them behind them and kind of liked them myself. So that's kind of my life as a reader from beginning to end. Um, I can say that I did not start out loving reading. And I can say now that I love to read more. 
and I think that love for reading grows more and more as the older I get, but um, that's me. Thanks.